Welcome to another video tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about the Face Recognition app. Face Recognition is designed for access control and personal identification. To enable this function, it is necessary to create a database. Once the person's facial images and the related information have been entered into the database, he or she can be detected. The name of the person detected and the confidence rate will be shown under this function. To start the configuration, go to System, Events, Video Analytics. Activate the Video Analytics, or if needed, you can choose by Schedule, and only use it depending on the schedule that you have previously configured. In this case, it is already on. Select the Face Recognition from Selected Behaviors. Select this behavior as VA1 or VA2 from Video Analytics. Click and draw a zone of interest. Then click and define the minimum and maximum size of objects. You can now import faces. Click Edit from Behavior Specific Settings. Click Add User from User List. Click from face image list. Choose the image files of the user. Upload at least three images of the user's face. The face must take up to 20% of the image. More images with multiple angles, both eyes should be revealed. Or various looks of, of, of the user, for example, with or without glasses, with different hairstyles as preferred. Supported image formats are JPEG, PNG, and BMP. Recommended image size is between 200 by 200 or 1920 by 1080 pixels. In this example, we will import two faces from the database. Select Recognition Threshold from Behavior Specific Settings. The default setting is 70. The value range is 1 to 100. Please note, Recognition Threshold is a set value to be compared with the face data value. If the value of the scanned face is higher than the threshold, the verification passes and the scanned person's name will be shown. If not, the status will be Unknown. Select an action that would be triggered when a person is recognized, such as FTP or email. In this case, we'll we use the output of the camera. Click Save to apply the settings, and click Home to go back to the live image. Here you can see the results. The person is recognized with the accuracy level and access is granted. In the next example, you will see that the person is unknown and access is not granted. We would like to thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.